I misunderstood because he was accusing the other guy of calling him and I heard him I misinterpreted it as him calling the other guy gay. No, I'm seen here is Landon Donovan, one of the greatest American soccer players ever. I understand that that's why I'm rescinding the red card. I heard that word and I sent it. I don't, don't act dumb, you know what that I don't means. That is Tarek Murad sticking up for his teammate. This is his problem. Rick, this is beyond, this is guys, what Junior did last week. Okay, so like, that's, this is beyond soccer. Guys, just this, is, this is what's don't going on. No, no, no. Captured is a troubling stance from Phoenix Rising head coach Rick Shantz. It's maybe not a big deal. We have to get this out of our game. We have to get this out of our game. Another player gay? Racism. It's not racist, it's racism. Gay. They're competing. It's homophobia. How long have you been playing soccer? Guys, listen, You're this is what's going to happen. Who associates homophobia with it just being a part of the game. The red card You're is rescinded. I don't, I didn't understand what the, your player said to him. Andrew they took here. offense to it, and I heard him use do? the Who's word gay. I heard he him called him gay. Word. He called so Colin gay. Result, I misunderstood. I thought his player was calling your player. I can't um, go through this. Yeah, man. So you said our guy said something that yeah. you didn't understand. Right. And their player And they took exception to it. And so when he, they retaliated by saying the, the game word, and I misunderstood as if your guy was saying it's them. The referee's defense was he did not know what a certain word meant in a different language. As a result, um, I, the game will continue. We're going to talk about what we're going to do. This just literally happened a week ago. And Donovan then walks off to speak with his team. According to reports and Donovan himself, Colin Martin had homophobic slurs aimed at him. Here's the thing. In 2018, then a member of Minnesota United of Major League Soccer, Martin came out on Pride Night. So we've been through a lot in the last week. This, this club, our players, the organization has been through a lot. What Donovan references here is when his club faced Los Angeles and defender Omar Antivaros used a racial slur against one of the Loyals black players. No longer an allegation, the league acted accordingly, suspending Antivaros for six matches. Elijah Martin, seen here, was the target of an opposing player using the N-word. San Diego wished to forfeit their tie in protest. This is what we call a model club. We made a vow to ourselves, to our community, to our players, to the club, to USL that we would not stand for bigotry, homophobic slurs, um, things that don't belong in our game. Donovan making it clear as day, as did club chairman Andrew Velasidis. We don't even want to recognize being a part of a match where these types of actions take place. The loyal in our name is symbolic of the diversity in our community and as a club, we will not stand for this. So what did San Diego do? At the start of the second half, as Phoenix began play, Donovan's club walked off the pitch in protest. They demanded, prior to, the abuser be removed from the match, but Phoenix manager Rick Schantz absolutely refused. If we want to be true to who we are as a club, um, we have to speak and we have to act. Exactly. Like so many others in sports, you can't just talk the talk. You have to walk the walk, as the late John Lewis said. My philosophy is very simple. When you see something that is not right, not fair, not just, you have a moral obligation to say something, to do something, stand up, speak up, speak out. And so the San Diego loyal did. ESPN reported Junior Flemings later identified himself as the player accused of using the anti-gay slur and called the accusation false, saying his teammates would support his account. CNN reported just how big of a sacrifice this was. By walking off, San Diego forfeited the match and ended their chances of reaching the playoffs. Donovan would say, I know how hard it was for them to even take the field tonight, given everything that happened. And then for it to happen again a week later was just devastating. Our guys, to their immense credit, said we were not going to stand for this. They were very clear in that moment that they were giving up all hopes of making the playoffs. They said it doesn't matter. There are things more important in life and we have to stick up for what we believe in. If we want to be true to who we are as a club, we have to speak and we have to act. 